Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and it is Thursday, June 3rd, and we have another What's Old video for you today. We're going to follow Kathy around to see what's sold for us today. Hey, friends. Um, so what you see on the table here actually all sold in the last day, um, and it all got listed also in the last day for two days. So I guess I should um, show the table. Yes, yeah, so I hadn't got a chance to put it away, so... I, didn't, I wasn't gonna just put it away just to pull it back out. So, yeah. And I just show you these ones real quick, and then we'll pull from the boxes. So this first one was a bundle sale on Kitten. Um, three pairs of Converse in a toddler size eight. So she actually bought four pairs, but I made a mistake on one. I listed it as an eight, and it was actually a seven. So I luckily realized it before I shipped it out. So I refunded her for partially for that pair, and then. She wanted the other three still. So she paid $59.50 total for these three pairs, including shipping and everything. So, uh, these were all of my sons, and I actually think this is the one time I ever paid full price for Converse. I remember when my first son was a little guy, probably two years old, I bought him all the colors. <laughs> so I do think I paid probably close to 30 bucks a piece for these. So I am kind of losing some money, but they sold them one day, and I'll make back probably 40 bucks. So that's all right. And then these little Under Armour slides sold on Facebook for 15 plus shipping. Um, these I have $3.99 and two from a thrift store. And then these little saltwater sandals I got at the JBF sale, but I just listed them yesterday. Um, and I accepted a $17 offer. I have um, $6.56 into them average cost of goods from that sale. And the buyer did pay shipping as well. And then these Toy Story bands were also my son. I bought them off Kittizen a few years ago for $17. And then I sold them on Poshmark for $31 with discount shipping. So still made six, seven bucks profit even after my kids wore them. And then these Merrells, um, we just picked these up at that new thrift store last week. I did pay up for them at $14.97 because they're basically brand new without box. Um, and I knew I could at least double my money, which is about all I did, um, but quickly. So yeah. happy with that. So these sold for $36.35 plus shipping on eBay. All right. And these Crocs flip-flops. These are one of the ones that um, Facebook wasn't accepting, although Chris did push the review. review yeah. And I've done Request that in the past, review. and it's always still said no, so I just stopped doing it. But it did actually accept them after it, but then they sold elsewhere on eBay. So glad they sold. We still don't know what the word was. We thought maybe it was because I call all of my flip-flops flip-flop thong sandals. So right. like that we were th selling thongs, but... I don't know why you wouldn't be allowed to you, sell thongs. But then we searched <laughs> my listings and I had a bunch of other yeah. um, flip-flop thong sandals listed right. in different brands. So yeah, I don't know what the word that was triggering there. Thing was, but, Gotta love that AI. It yeah. seems to be <laughs> so fantastic. <laughs> um, so I paid $7.99 for these at Goodwill and sold them for $22.70 plus shipping on eBay. All right, and the others. I guess I'm not in order here. All right, so these bugs sold on Poshmark last night for my full list price, which was $50. And I have $9.99 into those, so that was a really good one. Yeah. Last Love the full price sales. For sure. All right, and then yes, these fit flops. Um, I picked up recently for seven ninety nine, I think, from Goodwill, and they sold for thirty three dollars plus shipping on Mercari. So, shoes are selling. If you don't sell shoes, I would recommend trying. Yeah. Um, they're pretty easy to sell. They're pretty easy to list. I try to pick ones that don't really need any cleaning or right. anything. So. Even though there is some kind of weird market for funky, sneaky shoes, right? right? <laughs> I have not tried that. Uh, yeah, market yet. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever get into that market. I don't know if I want those customers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we like clean shoes. <laughs> Speaking of clean shoes, these are not the cleanest shoes, but I didn't really do anything to them other than like put the tape around my fingers and kind of try to get all the dust out and stuff. So and stuff. we picked these up in Nebraska. They're just some LL Bean Owl wool slippers. And when I looked up comps, I almost didn't buy them just because I think slippers that are used are kind of gross. But um, I looked up comps and all the ones that were selling were around 35, 40 bucks. And even with 
with the same insides or worse. So I took a chance. I only paid $3.99 for them. And even though we bought them back in March in Nebraska, I just listed them like two days ago. Yeah. So um, they ended up selling on eBay for $36 plus shipping. So okay. yeah. All right. So BD, this is just something I accepted and offered to move it because... Uh, well, I do like selling this brand. It's the brand, the Territoria Head. Um, when I bought this, I didn't realize it was missing the size tag. So mm. I had to go on measurements and it's been listed for months now. And the first offer I got was $10. So I just took it because without yeah. the size, that's a really hard sale. And I wasn't losing money. I paid $3 for it and I sold it for 10 on Posh. So I get seven oh five. Yeah. So I double my $3. <laughs> So, it is our recommendation yeah. to pass on things that don't have sizes. Yeah. Oh, I need to be better about checking. <laughs> I am better. It happens, better. but you know, as you can see, we only made seven dollars <laughs> on that, and it took more work to try to figure out the size yeah. and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Just not worth it in our book. Nope. Um, so these little Crocs I got at the JBF sale, so six fifty-six into these, they sold for twenty with discount shipping on Poshmark. And then box G. Is a peak kid shirt. It just says, I think, Sharks of Australia or something on it. Oh, that's cool. And it was actually new at Tag. Um, I bought it for my son. I think I paid 20 bucks for it too off of the buy sell trade page on Facebook. And I, he just didn't wear it, probably because it was white and I just never put it on him. Um, so yeah, sold it for $20 with no. I paid 20 for it. I sold it for 22 discount shipping on Posh. So I'm probably losing three or four bucks off of that. BQ. You'd think I'd know by now that BQ's over here. <laughs> uh, so these are some Not Your Daughter's jeans. Uh, they're actually like capris and they are new with tag. We got these from the bin, so part of the stimulus check challenge. Have a dollar thirty-one into them. They sold for twenty plus shipping on Mercari. That's very nice. Yeah. Put this over here. So D E. Another item from that new thrift store was this Patagonia flannel. This was a women's. I paid a little bit up for this. Um, $10.99 is what I paid. I sold it for $31.80 plus shipping on eBay. All right, and then P. All right, so this, I mentioned I've been doing sell similars again on eBay. It's not that I ever stopped because I thought it wasn't worth it. It was just like, I just got Time. really busy. Yeah. yeah, so, but then I noticed eBay was like kind of tanking and I was like, is that why? So I've been doing it again. So this element flannel was something I just did that to yesterday. I think it was listed at 25 plus ship and I switched it to 29.95 free ship. And then I got a watcher right away, sent them an offer of 25.99 free ship and they accepted. So pretty much the same as what I would have Right. had it before but just switched a couple things up and it worked so i did pay 875 for this retail arbitrage so it's only about doubling my money or so on that and so if you're not familiar with what we're saying with sell similar that's where something's about to end it's 30 days is about up and we end the listing and then you make some changes in there just to try to mix it up a little bit you know going from free shipping to paid shipping or vice versa yeah um, maybe raise the price a little bit lower price a little bit and just honestly to, even if you don't change anything it still kind yeah. of freshens it up so yeah. i still think it's just worth doing um basically the activity that you're doing by doing anything right. at all is going to help you out so if you're having some stale <laughs> sales uh try that and it might get things moving again Sold my first pair of these anchor blue baggy jeans. I think I have four pairs of them. Um, but I have $7.99 into these. They sold for $45, $45 plus shipping on eBay. So yeah, I'm telling you, these baggy <laughs> jeans are popular right now. So if you find them, get them. I don't know how long that trend's gonna right. last. So <laughs> don't don't bet the bank right. on it, but if you know, you, get a few of them. If you have some not listed, list them now. <laughs> All right, last sale so far. Three pairs of those. Okay. These are just some 
you can see the brand right there. It's just like a Dillard's brand. Yeah. The only reason I bought these is because they were two bucks and knew a tag at Salvation Army and I got several of them. So one listing multi-quantity. Um, so I turned two dollars into 1087 plus shipping, but I have sold others off already and I still have a few more. So it was worth it, but they were selling off very slowly. So I wouldn't recommend going to like Dillard's and paying like right. even five dollars for them. But I got these at the Salvation Army. I guess they probably took all their stuff that didn't sell to <laughs> Salvation Army. So all right. So I think it's about, yeah, it's about 140. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed up and then we'll be Wait, back a little bit later. I got an offer, let me see. Oh, we got an exactly offer. Really quick, where did I put this? It was actually just a mug. Yep, it went through. I wanna make sure, sometimes the offer okay. says payment not accepted or something. So we just sold, I'm guessing, one of these mugs. Yeah, this one actually. So when we were doing our garage sale, we kind of cleaned out our kitchens, cabinets, cause I don't know. We use the yeah. same stuff over and over. Like we'll have like 20 mugs yeah. and then we use like three of them. So <laughs> right. we got rid of a lot and we sold some in the garage sale, but I picked out a few that I wanted to sell online because I knew I could get more than 50 cents. So right. The Starbucks one I just listed yesterday and it sold on Mercari just now for $12 plus shipping. So nice. I think I might've bought this at a garage sale a while back <laughs> for about 50 cents, maybe a dollar. So cool. All right. So yeah, now we'll go ahead and get this <laughs> stuff packed up and we'll probably be back in about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, and hopefully we'll we have some more sales by then to pick. Yeah. If not, hopefully I got some listings up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. We got that stuff all packed up, ready to go. Reese was there the whole time. <laughs> and I think we had one more sale yes. come in. One more, but a good one. These Olakai sandals. So Olakai is a great brand altogether, but the leather sandals seem to do like extra well. So these I picked up just recently for $7.99 and sold them on eBay for $59.10 plus shipping. Um, some comps were over $70 on these. These showed a tiny bit of wear, so I listed them a little bit lower. And yeah, they sold in one day. Um, so Bolo, Olakai Bolo. in general, but especially yeah. their flip flops. So yeah. Sweet. <sighs> yeah. That's it for the day. So yeah, we got the stuff packed off. We're gonna have to get it off to the post office and pick up Connor from his STEM camp. And then we actually gotta take this guy. This guy's going to get a little bit of a rabies shot. He needed to update. What are you looking? Reese. Before we can go to our <laughs> camping trip. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta take him to, I think Petco does does uh, shots or whatever. We got set up an appointment. And, Got to take him to get his rabies shot. And then we, we're doing that so that we can go to Jellystone next week. So yeah, that's what we've got on our plates. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.